Hi guys, today I will show you how to recreate JRY's edit of this Mercedes video. Let's begin. If you look closely, in his video he has darkened the background. So, I will start with darkening it. First of all duplicate your video and rename. First will be, car only. Second one name two, background. Now select car only layer and grab a roto brush tool. Then double click on car only layer, make a perfect selection of the car to isolate it from a background. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Toggle off background and check if roto brush needs to be fixed in edges, if it needs, simply add a feather a bit and set reduce chatter to 100%. Once you are happy with roto brush, toggle on background now and add a curves effect on it, let's make background dark. Add exposure and decrease exposure as much as you need. Note, you can darken your video using other effects like, levels, lumetri color or using brightness and contrast. Once you have finished darkening the background, let's jump to another effect. As we can see he has used a glitchify plugin to make this glitchy background effect. To make that glitchy effect, duplicate your car only layer and select bottom one and pre-compose it. Add a glitchify plugin on it. Expand image glitch and toggle it off. Expand color glitch and toggle it off as well. Expand channel glitch. Expand channel scale. Toggle on vertical. Change offset and speed multiplier to zero. Increase scale as much as you will enjoy. Expand advanced. Expand channel scale and toggle on fill gaps. Let's compare to JRY's video. Nice, that looks the same. Now let's make this mini cars and badge effect. Duplicate your car only layer and rename it to one. Now create new null object. Add a slider control effect on it. Now select your number one layer, press S on your keyboard and make it smaller. Then double click on an anchor point tool and change anchor point position like this. Move that mini car layer to the right corner. While layer one is selected, press R on your keyboard to open rotation. Hold Alt button on your keyboard and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Then select null layer and let's link rotation to slider effect. Type here, star index. If you play back the video nothing happens. Let's do the magic. Select your layer 1 and duplicate mini cars as much you want. I will duplicate 8 times. Now select null layer and increase slider values. That was easy and time saving trick. If this trick was helpful, please leave a like. Once you have liked this video, let's select all duplicated layers and link them with null layer. Then select Null Layer and press S on your keyboard, hold Shift and press P, this will bring position and scale only. Change position and scale on your wish. Then move your car only layer above the duplicated and Null Layer. Select Null Layer and change position and scale again if needed. Let's quick check JRY's video. In his video those mini cars are rotating a bit. Let's do the same rotations. Select Null Layer and press R on your keyboard. Click on Rotation Stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go to the end of the video and change rotation as much as you will enjoy. Nice, I'm happy with it. Let's check his video again. Here we can see a Mercedes badge behind the car. Let's bring our car's badge to After Effects and do the same. Once you've added badge image, select your background layer, and then toggle off all other layers. Also toggle off effects on background, so we can see video clearly. Now go to tracker and click on, track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points on the car, right click and select, create null and camera. Now you can toggle back on all effects and layers. Select your badge layer and link it with track null layer, then enable 3D on badge. Now press S on your keyboard and make it a bit bigger. Then change, X, Y and Z rotations. Now select Null and all duplicated layers from 9 to 1 and enable motion blur in that layers. Let's make an animation now. While Null layer is selected, press P on your keyboard then click on position stopwatch icon. Move position a bit down. Now press S on your keyboard, then click on scale stopwatch icon and make mini cars a bit smaller. Now press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Then go a few frames forward and change position and scale as much as you will enjoy. Let's do the same with badge layer. Select that layer and press P on your keyboard, then hold shift and press S on your keyboard, this will expand only position and scale. Go a few frames forward and click on position and scale stopwatch icons there. 
Then go to very beginning of the video and change position of the badge like this, then change scale, make it a bit small. The animation is ready. Enable motion blur on badge layer as well and we are done. Let's check JRY's video one more time, he also used a glow on his layers. To add glow you can use After Effects Glow or if you have a Deep Glow plugin, use that one. I will decrease the exposure a bit. Then copy that Deep Glow and paste to Mini Cars layers and then paste to Glitchify layer as well. And finally we are done. Write in comments if this edit is similar to JRY's edit, and also let me know if it was easy for you to do. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and like the video please.